Hey. Hey. My name is Sean, and this is going to be the deck gameplay video for Snoop Hulk. And I'm going to run through a few playtest hands. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. Comment a command you'd like to see down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, let's get into the first this first sample hand. See what we get. Gonna keep this. We have access to Fast Man. We have access to Entomb to search our library for Protean Hulk, put it into the graveyard. From here, all we need is a reanimation spell. So, drop our turn one. Survival of the fittest. This allows us... This isn't that great right now because we already have a way to put Protean Hulk into the graveyard. But we're still probably gonna go... Let's see. City of Brass. Tap and lose a life. Play a Chrome Mox. Imprinting a Buried Alive. And then tap Chrome Mox to cast in Tomb. Searching our library for a Protean Hulk, which we will then put into the graveyard. So, pretty decent start for a turn one. We All we really need right now is a way to, to reanimate this Protean Hulk. Shuffle, put it into the graveyard. Next turn, we draw a Viserys here. So yes, we're at the point where all we need is a way to reanimate it. You could search your deck for, you could discard, search your deck for a Fisksarian Delver. Uh, that might be a good decision because, yeah, actually we're going to do that. Tap. And then tap this so we don't take any additional damage. Play a Survival of the Fittest. Tap this to cast a Viserys here. And then discard this to search my library for a creature card. Obviously this will be revealed, but it all really depends on if we hit an additional land. Shuffle. Put this into our hand. And now we're really just looking for one more land. Drop return. Or, well, I meant to move next turn. And that is lucky. Very lucky there. Here we hit the Fixarian Delver. Here we hit the land. Need to cast the Fixarian Delver that we just tooted for. That's why Survival for the Fittest is such a good card. We hit the Fixarian Delver. We will lose one off, off our City of Brass. And lose six off or seven off this down to 30. And then we will sacrifice a Sarasir or sacrifice it to the Sarasir. View library. We can search our library for a conspicuous snoop, a goblin recruiter, a torch courier. So we do have a turn three win here. Because we just go goblin recruiter when it enters. We put Kiki on top. Shuffle. Play with the top card revealed. The big thing here is that... The big thing here is that we don't have interaction. When we when we use Survival of the Fittest, we kind of telegraph that we're going to combo off. So we'll just create infinite... Make it infinite token copies of Conspicuous Noop. Then at the end, make one token copy of Goblin Recruiter. Then search our library for a... Mog Fanatic. Put it on top. Shuffle. Make sure to stack this Torch Courier, though, to make sure to give the first Conspicuous Snoop haste so that it can use Kiki Jiki's ability. Put the Mog Fanatic on top. Sacrifice all your Conspicuous Snoops. Deal infinite damage to each of your opponents. So this was a turn 3 win, but a pretty telegraphed one due to the fact that we have to reveal what we searched for with Survival of the Fittest. And we didn't really have any interaction because we spent all of our mana earlier. But yeah, turn 3 wins are always good, and that's kind of where you're trying to aim three to turn 3 to 4 because you want to get get there before the uh you're not as fast as the fast combo decks but you want to be faster than the mid-range decks so restart this and again a pretty good hand we're probably going to keep this we have both an in tomb and a high market but the issue is we have a torch carrier in hand and torch carrier is only one mana so we can always just cast that for one so drop or turn one jessica's will is always good tap we'll search our library for we need red mana, but we also need black mana, so we're just going to search for it by you. Put it into play. Shuffle our library, lose a life, and then cast this land of war elves. Next turn, draw a mana vault. Probably going to go tap, or t tap to cast an entomb. And then we're going to entomb a protein hulk. Shuffle, shuffle. Play this, play high market, tap to play, tap to play this, 
and then tap land more elves in mana vault to cast Halana. So at this point, all we are is a red mana and a and a reanimation effect away from winning. Next turn, we draw a stomping ground. We have access to four mana. I would say here probably you could just go. I would go for a Jessica's will here, leaving up black and green, black green with the Bayou. Probably gonna be for seven, as I said last time. Whenever you cast Jessica's will, there's most likely someone with seven or more cards in hand, so you get to reveal the top three, and then you get to you get to uh, yes, yeah, so, okay, we can actually that's good. We get to add seven mana, cast a torch courier, cast a conspicuous snoop. You already played land per turn. If we had one more mana, we could just finale of devastation, which is kind of disappointing for a goblin recruiter and just win there. Pretty disappointing that we're one mana short, but we do have two of our combo pieces in play and are one off from winning. So we'll just exile these at the end of the turn. We have Veil of Summer off up in case one of our opponents tries to combo off or we need to stop our opponents from countering something. And then move on to next turn. Draw a overgrown tomb. And here, I would say just play Corbold. Obviously, we're one card away from running with Hulk, which is disappointing, but we can use Corvold here. We can probably just sacrifice. Is it another permanent? I would just sacrifice this mana vault. We're probably never going to really have a chance to untap it. Draw a card. Add a counter. So, yeah. So, I'm probably going to end it here. We're one card away from winning, whether it be a way to reanimate Hulk we can win with, too. We can win with. Whether it be we just draw a Goblin Recruiter off the top. So we're basically one card away from winning, which is always pretty good. And yeah, move on to move on to our next stand. So, uh, I don't know about this one. We have zero lands again, not the greatest thing. Pattern of Rebirth, though, is really good because it basically just guarantees that we get a Hulk. But yes, it's like, yeah. We drew a land on turn four. Not good enough. Keeping 0-1 to one landers are kind of tough. We probably will keep this, though. We can... I don't know. Eh. The big thing is we have Pattern of Rebirth and a Tutor. But we don't have a second Tutor to discuss. We can Tutor for a creature and a sack outlet. But then we don't have the ability to Tutor for a second creature. I'm probably going to keep this in the hopes that we draw an additional creature. Drop return. We do put like 24 of them. And animated was not what we were looking for. I'm going to cast a Vampiric Tutor, lose two life, view all, search our library for a Viserys here. This is a very risky keep that probably mulling down and taking your free mulligan was a better option, but I wanted to try this out. So next turn, we draw that Viserys here, tap, tap, and cast a Survival of the Fittest. Move on to our next turn, and yeah... Gonna get punished here for the risky keep that we had. As I said, probably should not have kept this. We are really only one. We are pretty close to winning because we have Pattern of Rebirth. But yeah. And then turn three, turn four, we're gonna draw Wheel of Fortune. So this was definitely a can I should not have keep, kept. Always try to take a better mulligan than a can like this. So yeah, we'll run through one more hand. That's a hand that you should not have kept. That's a hand that I should not have kept. And I'll make sure to make not, not make that mistake next time. This is another really good hand, but again, the 0-1 to one landers you cannot keep. Like, yeah. No. Oh. You draw a land so late, you're out of the game completely. You just have to watch your watch your opponents play it out. Might keep this. We have a we have a tainted pact. If we want to try to search our library for a way to like an entomb or something like that. So yeah, we'll keep this. Drop her turn one. Collector oof. Probably going to crack this on turn one. Lower the amount of lands in our deck before we cast this Fade this Looting. Search our library for a Taiga so we can cast that Destiny Spinner. Shuffle our library. Tap. Fade this Looting. Draw two cards. And we actually did hit the Entomb, so probably just going to... We could try to... Yeah, probably just going to pitch the Hyrax Tower Scout and the Tainted Pact. Not really needed anymore. Move on to next turn. Not having access to double black is kind of hard. 
So you have, you have a few options here. You could go for a Entomb this turn. Or you could just cast a Destiny Spinner. I'm probably going to Entomb for a... Cast an Entomb. And get a Protein Hulk into the graveyard. Not having access to double block is annoying. We, That's like... Um, I don't know, it's not really a mistake. But it's like we wanted to cast our Destiny Spinner. We had to search for either a red-green or a red-black land. We already had access to red-black. It's unfortunate, but not really a mistake. Put that into the graveyard. Next turn, draw a forest. So we can play this, discarding this. We can go either Collector Hoof Oof, or Destiny Spinner here. And then cast to reanimate, getting this Protean Hulk back into play. We don't have a sack outlet. That's really all we're looking for. But when you have a 6-6 in play, especially in these slower games, you're able to use it to pressure your opponents. And it's hard for you to be attacked. Move on to next turn. Draw a thought seize. Really unfortunate again. That's probably where we're gonna leave leave this. We're in a spot where yeah, we're a sack out little away from winning, which is gonna be hard. But once we find one, we're gonna win the game. And otherwise, you could even if you find a goblin recruiter, you could just win the game a turn later too. But that's gonna end the, this gameplay video. Thank you guys for watching, and hope you enjoyed.